Two guys take wrestling seriously, and the least you can do is pity them and watch this. Here's Bo and Uncle Peter. Wrestling News, Episode 55, Tigers for Toothpaste. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another thrilling edition of Comic Book Man's Video Outhouse. Uh, today, it's going to be wrestling news, and that means me, your humble host, Uncle Peter, and he, the Minister of Information. Bo, what's that? Bo, that's right. And we are coming to you where we always do. Alternate Reality Incorporated, right next to the corner of 111 Dickensie in the picturesque, I say, Mount Greenwood neighborhood of Chicago. Are you nearsighted? For the nearsighted. Yes, picturesque. Why well, people think it's very pretty. Yes, it is. Alternate Reality Incorporated, where you get all your new comic books for 15% off every week, every day. Just come in, ask to be directed to the new comic book shelf, select your titles, bring them up, he'll ring them up, and then knock 15% off for you. And he does that because he loves you. What? <laughs> he does. Why else would he? Drugs. I mean, he doesn't do those. Antidepressants. Got he doesn't do them either. He's sure. He's drug free. Anyway, uh, we got big story right off from the top uh, regarding Spike TNA and Paul Heyman. Maybe we're not sure. Paul Heyman basically revealed why he did not join TNA. He said he had why? he had basically he had all of his business dealings really were. With Spike TV, who were the ones pushing it, and not as much TNA. Okay. He was, he was going to sign a five-year deal, which would basically give him some stock and ownership involving TNA. Yes. But the, the hookup would be just with Spike. The five-year plan would involve him spending 18 months building uh, building a new roster. Building up the roster, yes. In the next 18 months, exploiting that roster. Uh, I mean, why don't you translate that for the uninformed? Basically, so you would push it, and you'd go, "Wow, those guys wrestle for TNA instead of oh, instead of everyone wrestles for the WWE." Cool. So he would push it. Then after that third, and this would be year three. At the end of year three, yes. he would take the company public. Public. Yes, he would sell stock just like the stock WWE does. Stock in TNA. And then he would run the company for two years, and yes. then he would retire. That is literally a five-year plan. That was the plan. It didn't happen. Okay. Uh, the people, Why didn't it The people happen? at TNA had a little problem with it. The people at Spike TV did have, were cool We're with all it. for it. And so he said, well, I try to do the best I can. I'll probably start hanging out and doing some MMA stuff right. and some other branding, but that deal just never just happened. Just went by the wayside. At some point, if, you know, if reality sinks in, maybe they'll go to talk to Paul and he'll come back <laughs> Uh, they, they think they might, go, he, think he, they he might be able to it. use Paul's, uh, Paul's talents? I think they could. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, anyway, check it out. Uh, somebody who's... Uh, we're gonna, we got a lot of MASH news a lot this, of mash this news week in really various reports. People that, get hurt all the time. They do. Although, and, although this guy, he, he was already And hurt. in this particular case, it's, What you gonna do, brother, when I gotta go back into the hospital for more medical work? I'm talking about the incredible Hulk Hogan. I'm not going to do all the bird poses. Trust me, it wouldn't be pretty. Tear off your shirt. No. Hogan. Not a chance. Please don't do that. <laughs> Re Hulk, relax. Hogan's back issues are have been basically not improved. They've He's not gotten had, better. He had this week have an electrical spinal cord simulator. Yes. Manually inserted surgically into his back. Why do I get the willies just thinking about that? And so what they did is they opened him up, and he put all the stuff on video. It's on, it's on the web. The surgery and everything. They Some things surgery. we don't want to see, do we? They put Hulk inside Hulk his spinal cord, no. and, and his spinal cord is doing better, so he will not be popping up or walking around anytime soon. Hulk. Because they like you to not move around when you have electrical. Hulk Hogan splayed out like a butterfly roast is not one of the things I want to see anywhere, including my nightmares. But it's on. It's, it's on. Only it's on life. video. But for those of you who have tougher sensitivities Watch than it. I do, ah, uh, hey, go check Watch it out. It. Um, Let's see, more MASH news. Uh, this time the lady, uh, Lisa Varan. Tara. 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 She Victoria. Had got, she had basal, whoever she is. She had basal, scare, basal, basal cells carcinoma, skin cancer. Skin cancer. Removed from her body due to some very, very heavy tanning. She did a lot of tanning when she grew up in Southern California. Yes. That kind of caught up with her. As if the Southern California sun wasn't right. enough. So, so she oh, had God. the surgery. She had this removed. She also had an injury in the ring in which she, she had a rupture in her elbow. Yes. And uh, there's actually pictures of this and video of this online as oh, well. Oh, there's, there's parts of her I'd like to see. The, the swelling, that ain't one of them. The swelling was about 
this big. I don't want to see. In her see. elbow. So it looked like Thank she had a football surgically attached to her elbow. It's pretty disgusting. Thank you for, was, like, oh. sharing that. But it was quite entertaining. Now I'm going to have to drink heavily to get that visual out You're of You're already mind. drinking heavily. Well, heavier, anyway. In brighter news. Got uh, stock of the Smirnoff Company, in case you didn't know. Uh, Jack Daniels, actually. Well, that too. Okay, uh... Brighter news. Much brighter re- news. Regarding Mrs. Foley's little boy. So he's going to Hollywood, I guess. Mick Foley, he's written three autobiographies. Yes. Two of them out. One, the new one just came out actually about a couple weeks ago. Yes. Uh, there's gonna, they're going to make a feature film based on Mick Foley's life. Cool. It'll Any cool. idea who they're going to get to play? Uh... He doesn't know, but he's actually helping to write the screenplay with a director and is being produced by a guy named Jeff Katz, who actually worked over at DC for... Uh, he wrote some issues for Booster Gold, and he's been doing a whole bunch of other stuff. He was a big deal muckety muck at New Line when New Line was hot. Very so cool. a feature film based on Mick Foley's life Very is cool. on the way. And for all us fans of Mick Foley, including me, that will be must-see I viewing. I at Mick Foley. So uh, watch for it coming to your theaters probably within a couple of years if they can get their act together. Hey. I think uh, it'll be next year. That's, well, that's uh, it for most of our news today. Got to end it on a bit of a downer. Uh... Uh, another rest in peace uh, little note here. Uh, Jorge Gonzalez, you might have known him as El Gigante, Giant Gonzalez, uh, wearer of one of the goofiest wrestling uh, costumes in recent or any memory, as far as I could tell, uh, passed away uh, very, fairly recently in, Ar- in his native Argentina. Bo? Uh, he wrestled for WCW and the WWF from 1990 to 93. His last big sort of semi-feud was a program with The Undertaker, which actually happened in Las Vegas, Nevada, at Caesars Palace. Right. He, like I said, he wore an outfit where he, they had fake muscles painted on it, and they had fur on fur. it. Fur. And he was managed by downtown Bruno, otherwise known as Harvey Whippleman. Yeah. Uh, after his wrestling career was over with in 1983, he sort of hung around for a while, then he went back to Argentina. He spent the last few years of his life in a wheelchair, in a wheelchair. because he had very bad diabetes. Very and bad. So he, yeah. was, he was living on a farm that he bought with all the money he made from wrestling. Well, uh, but he died at the age of 44. And that's that's way too soon. Uh, so all of our condolences, thoughts, and prayers from everybody here in the outhouse goes out to uh, Senor Gonzalez's family. Uh, you weren't around very long, but you did attract a lot of attention while you were here. Um, and on that, that's going to wrap us up, wrap it up for us in the outhouse. For all of this, happier news regarding wrestling, music, the whole schmear. You can go to our little stop on the Information Superhighway where our little girl, the Sprite, Sarah, she's going to tell you where it is right now. www.marlotonetreality.com It's inspirational. So anyway, go there, check it all out. Uh, The man works very hard to bring it all to you, and he'd just like to know he's appreciated. So until you check it out and come back and see us again, this is going to be Uncle Peter. And Bo, looking for one of these. Looking for one of these. See ya. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>